Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. The ceremony for the ministers to take the oath before His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was held at Sakhir Palace. His Majesty received His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who introduced the new members of the cabinet following their appointments by His Majesty the King. The Deputy Prime Minister and ministers took the constitutional oath before His Majesty the King. يتفضل معالي الشيخ خالد بن عبد الله بن خالد ال خليفه لاداء القسم نائب رئيس مجلس الوزراء وزير البنيه التحتيه. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. اقسم بالله العظيم ان اكون مخلصا للوطن وللملك وان احترم الدستور وقوانين الدوله وان اذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وامواله وان اؤدي اعمالي بالامانه والصدق. يتفضل سعادة سيد جبيب محمد حبيدان لأداء القسم وزيرا للعمل بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن وللملك وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أدوذ عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله وأن أؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق يتفضل سعادة السيد زايد بن راشد الزياني لأداء القسم وزيرا للصناعة والتجارة. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن وللملك وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله وأن أؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق. يتفضل سعادة السيد وائل بن ناصر المبارك لأداء القسم وزير شؤون البلديات والزراعة. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن وللملك وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله وأن أؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق. يتفضل سعادة الدكتور محمد بن مبارك بالدينة لأداء القسم وزير النفط والبيئة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن وللملك وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله وأن أؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق تفضل سعادة السيد محمد بن ثامر الكعبي لأداء القسم وزيرا للمواصلات والاتصالات. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن والملك وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله وأن أدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق.
يتفضل سعادة السيد إبراهيم بن حسن الحواج لأداء القسم وزيرا للأشغال بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن وللملك وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله وأن أودي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق يتفضل سعادة السيد يوسف بن عبد الحسين خلف لأداء القسم وزيرا للشؤون القانونية بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن وللملك وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله وأن أؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق يتفضل سعادة السيد أسامة بن أحمد بن خلف العصفور لأداء القسم وزيرا للتنمية الاجتماعية بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن وللملك وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أدود عن حريات الشعب ومصالح وأمواله وأن أؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق تفضل سعادة السيد ياسر بن إبراهيم ميدان لأداء القسم وزيرا بشؤون الكهرباء والماء بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن وللملك وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله وأن أؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق تتفضل سعادة الدكتورة جليلة السيد جواد حسن جواد لأداء القسم وزيرة للصحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصة للوطن وللملك وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله وأن أؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق يتفضل سعادة السيد نواف بن محمد المعاودة لأداء القسم وزيرا للعد والشؤون الإسلامية والأوقاف. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن وللملك وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله وأن أؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق. يتفضل السيد حامد بن فيصل المالكي لأداء القسم وزيرا لشؤون مجلس الوزراء بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن وللملك وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله وأن أؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق تفضل السيدة آمنة بنت أحمد الرميحي لأداء القسم وزيرة الإسكان والتخطيط العمراني. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم، أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصة للوطن والملك، وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة، وأن أذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله، وأن أؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق. تتفضل سعادة سيدة نور بنت علي الخليف لأداء القسم وزيرة للتنمية المستدامة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن وللملك وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله وأن أؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق
يتفضل سعادة الدكتور رمزان بن عبد الله العيني لأداء الغزل وزيرا لشؤون الإعلام. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن وللملك وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأن أذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله وأن أؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق His Majesty congratulated them on their new positions and wished them success in performing their duties to the best of their capabilities. He commended the young ministers for their competence and their national responsibility for the prosperity and progress of the kingdom. His Majesty also expressed his sincere thanks to His Royal Highness and commended his dedicated endeavors in serving Bahrain and enhancing and developing the government's action to achieve further gains for the nation and people. He stressed the importance, important role of the youth in contributing to serving the nation and consolidating its progress with all due respect and appreciation to those who preceded them in assuming these responsibilities and who merit appreciation and gratitude. His Majesty added that the Bahraini government has a long history and accomplished great achievements at all levels and at various fields with a primary goal to serve the citizens. His Majesty urged the ministers to intensify efforts and work within a team spirit to continue building on the accomplishments in order to enhance Bahrain's status, boost its progress and prosperity and ensure this prosperity of its people. His Majesty the King expressed his thanks and appreciation to the former Deputy Prime Ministers and Ministers for their good efforts and great services that will always live in the collective memory of the nation. He added that their achievements and contributions to the Kingdom's progress will be a fine model in loyalty, dedication and success in various fields. His Majesty stressed that the citizens of Bahrain will always remain the foundation of the nation's progress and the pillar of its development and prosperity. He directed the government to provide the best and finest services and to enhance the factors of decent living for citizens, wishing everyone success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 17 of 2022 reforming the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs will be reconstituted under the chairmanship of Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Muhammad bin Rashid Al Khalifa and the membership of the following Sheikh Abdul Hussein Khalaf Al Asfur, Vice President, Sheikh Dr. Abdul Latif Mahmoud Al Mahmoud, Sheikh Dr. Farid Yagoub Al Miftah, Sheikh Adnan Abdullah Al Ghattan, Sheikh Muhammad Mullah Ahmed Hassan Al Tablani, Sheikh Mansour Ali Hamada. Sheikh Muhammad Hassan Abdul Mahdi al Sheikh, Sheikh Dr. Suleiman bin Sheikh Mansour al Sitri, Sheikh Jamil Muhammad Ibrahim Hassan al Ghassab, Sheikh Isam Muhammad Ishaq al Abbasi, Sheikh Jawad Abdullah Abbas Hussain, Sheikh Muhammad Jafar Muhammad al Jafiri, Sheikh Rashid Hassan Ahmed al Bainin, Sheikh Dr. Ibrahim Rashid al Mraiki, and Sheikh Abdul Rahman Birar al Shaar. The term of their membership in the council is four years. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 18 of 2022 on restructuring the Board of Trustees of the Isa Award for Service to Humanity. The Board of Trustees is reconstituted under the chairmanship of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa and the membership of the following Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, First Vice President, Taqi Mohammed Al Baharna, Second Vice President, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Sheikh Amey bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. Ali Abdullah Al Aradi, Dr. Muhammad Ali Al Khuzai, and Ali Abdullah Khalifa. The term of their membership shall be four years. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 26 of 2022 appointing His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa as an advisor to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister while retaining his previous rank. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 27 of 2022 appointing Hamad Yaqub Al Mahmid as Director General of the Office of the Prime Minister. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Royal Highness was reassured on the health of His Highness and wished him continued good health and happiness. His Highness Sheikh Mish'al expressed his appreciation to His Royal Highness for his well wishes and wished him continued good health and happiness. His Royal Highness and His Highness then highlighted the depth and strength of the historical bilateral relations. 
The Speaker of the Representatives Council for Zia Zainal participated in a joint discussion held by the Speaker of Parliament and the accompanying parliamentary delegation in Washington, where she met with a member of the U.S. Congress, Joe Wilson. She stressed the importance of taking common grounds and the basis of high-level efforts between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States. Zainal affirmed her aspiration to establish a new phase of cooperation between the Legislative Authority in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the U.S. Congress through channels based on trust and mutual respect. She stressed that the meeting held during the current visit represent a qualitative opportunity to start an advanced stage of cooperation. She reviewed the growing outcomes in relation to economic reforms and the attractive environment provided by the Kingdom of Bahrain to investors. Joe Wilson praised the cooperation between the two countries and in all fields and wished Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity. Today was one of the highlights of my life to meet with Her Excellency, the Speaker of the Parliament of Bahrain, and four members of the parliament, additionally with the ambassador. Bahrain is such a valued and dear ally of the United States. It's meant so much to us with the Fifth Fleet being stationed there, our trade agreements, our cultural exchanges. Uh, we have such a warm relationship uh, with the people of Bahrain. And any way that I can promote it, I will. And I just uh, wish the best for the people of Bahrain. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, was delegated to attend the graduation ceremony of the 14th Joint Command and Staff Corps. The BDF Commander in Chief assigned the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi, to attend. The ceremony began with recitations of verses from the Holy Quran. The Minister then delivered a speech in which he noted the continuity of the march of progress in the BDF led by His Majesty the King, with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al. Khalifa and the follow-up of the BDF Commander-in-Chief. He conveyed the congratulations of Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed to the graduates. He congratulated the graduates and saluted the officers from the armed forces of brotherly countries who participated in the course. The Royal Command, Staff and National Defense College Commander Rear Admiral Abdullah al-Mansouri delivered a speech in which he thanked His Majesty the King and expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and to Sheikh Khal Khalifa bin Ahmed. A speech was then delivered on behalf of the graduates and the participants from brotherly countries followed by a film on the stages of the course. The Minister of Defense then presented their certificates to all the graduates. The third round of political consultations was held between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Turkmenistan, headed by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of Turkmenistan, Berdi Niaz Matiev. The Under Secretary praised the close and growing friendly relations between the two countries and the progress and prosperity they are witnessing at various levels. The two sides reviewed the close relations of cooperation and ways to enhance them through the exchange of official visits and the activation of more than 13 sides agreements and MOUs. For his part, Matiev affirmed his country's pride in the distinguished historical relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain and the common interest in developing them in various fields and for the benefits of the two friendly countries and people. The 10th edition of Meet ICT and Biotechs 2022 concluded after bringing together experts, academics, as well as industrial practitioners to share their most recent research, practical solutions, and experiences and discuss the issues, trends, opportunities, and challenges in the field of information and communications technology. The Meet ICT conference at Biotechs exhibition are considered the leading event in the field of ICT in Bahrain and are being held this year under the slogan Leading the Way Towards the Digital Economy Through Artificial Intelligence. While celebrating its 10th edition in line with Bahrain's vision and technological progress in the region. Meet ICT handles various activities in a platform that will amplify the experience of participants and empower them to exchange their knowledge and expertise to further contribute to the digital economy. Our company provides cybersecurity outside the organization. It's a unique concept. Normally people have got security technologies inside the organization. We scout the whole internet. We find out how attackers are looking at them and tell them how to fix it. Also, we find out the attacks and we neutralize the attacks outside the firewall. For us, it's very important. You know, we have been here since 2011. There are more than 50 people in the local office at this place. So for us, it's very important to keep close to all the customers and the government is our customer. So. As a gold sponsor, we are able to work closely together and, um, you know, go hand in hand for the future. 
Tim Keen, in partnership with the Central Bank of Bahrain, the London-based Institute and Faculty of Actuaries, and the BIBF, announced an initiative to train and employ Bahraini talent in the field of actuarial science, which will prepare them for quality career opportunities in insurance firms in the Kingdom of Bahrain. And to speak more about this, we have with us on the phone the Director of Programs, Marwa, Ms. Marwa Al-Iskafi, Capital Enterprise in Temkin. Hello, Ms. Marwa. Can you let us know more about the recently announced plan to train and employ Bahraini actuaries in the insurance sector? Absolutely. Hello. Uh, the plan was recently announced, as you mentioned, and as a collaboration between the Central Bank, Temkin, the IBF, and the London-based Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. It's a result of uh, Temkin and our partners' commitment to developing the local workforce, ensuring that they're competitive locally and internationally. Uh, and to that end, we actively pursue initiatives that support the training and employment for the most in-demand skills, especially those that create very high-value job opportunities for Bahrainis and provide them with sustainable career options. Uh, for this particular initiative, we're collaborating with the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. This is a globally renowned provider of licenses, licensing and qualifications. And it will provide the participants with extensive curriculum, examinations, and ensures that they acquire all the fundamental skills that they need to thrive in an actuarial career. Uh, just in particular about actuarial science and uh, what it is, actuarial science is uh, and includes the knowledge of math, statistics, and financial theory uh, to evaluate risks across many sectors, like insurance, investment, and banking, uh, and is mostly aimed at analyzing uh, and developing financial forecasts and also limiting financial losses. Ms. Marwa, what impact are you expecting from an initiative like this? Well, this is a, a first of its kind uh, in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, it's a result of the growing demand locally and internationally for actuarial skills and also the large skills gap locally and internationally uh, for that skill. We expect it to provide extensive training opportunities that qualify Bahrainis for this very high-value career path uh, to become licensed actuaries, to start their career in the field, and also to position Bahrain as a leader in human capital development and to the highest of global and international standards. Uh, this program will upskill Bahrainis. They will receive the qualification and licenses to take on the employment opportunities in insurance firms in Bahrain. Director of Programs, Human Capital and Enterprise in Temkin, Ms. Marwa Liskafi, thank you for joining us.